Hi guys, welcome to Heal Your Energy. My name is Kanini. In this video, I want us to talk about forgiveness. Why it's important to forgive, how you can go about forgiving, and why you're not doing anybody a favor by forgiving them. I was watching this morning, I was watching this video by Jeremy Damaris. If you don't know Jeremy Damaris, he is a Kenyan. He has a Kikuyu Diaspora TV on YouTube very popular among Kenyans. He's probably one of my favorite Kenyans just because he has a very pure heart, very good heart. You can tell that this man is saved. This is a man of God. Anyway, this morning I was watching his interview with him and his mother and they were going through a process. I could say it's 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 also a healing journey for the both of them and i must say i admire 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 any relationship like this relationship where the mother is saved and the child the son is saved and you can tell that they're having this relationship but it is also very very spiritual because this is a man of god and he has been raised by this wonderful woman and to see the person that he has become and it reflecting on the on how she raised him you know it's very 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 refreshing to see and watch and I just say thank you for sharing this video uh, Jeremy I love love it anyway what touched my heart was he went he went so his mother and his father were together and that's how he was conceived but then his ma his father left them for another woman you know and when Jeremy you know Jeremy if you hear his stories He's, he's, he's the typical story of rags to riches. He wasn't born rich. He wasn't born from a rich family. And so his mother struggled with him, you know. His mother encouraged him all his life to go after his dreams. She prayed for him, everything. And when he became, you know, Jeremy, you know, like the, you know, the popular man he is, you know, wealthy, he went to see his other family his you know the family that his father left them for and they were not living you know a good life they were still living in poverty and he built them a house he built them a house and you know most of us would be you know you did this to my mom you hurt her feelings you know many people would would rather you know have unforgiveness between them and and god between them and other people but you can tell really that he's a man of god because he 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 went you know he he put his feelings aside he put his mother's feelings aside and went and helped this family because at the end of the day and I think this is how he reasoned. They are still my brothers. You know, they are half my brothers. They are still my brothers. And this is a very good story. And we can see it um, with the story of Joseph when he became the prime minister of Egypt. He was still very kind to his other siblings who actually sold him into slavery. He was very kind to them. And this is when you know that you have been saved, that you have understood the message of salvation and the message of forgiveness. Jesus said that, you know, the Lord's Prayer, when he's, 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 um, he's teaching us the Lord's Prayer, he says, forgive us our transgressions as we forgive those who transgress against us. You know that you have been saved from the curse of, you know, sin and death when you understand the message of forgiveness your life is not going anywhere because you are holding on to unforgiveness there are people you need to forgive just let them go it's not a big deal it it, it, it feels like a big deal but that's what is keeping your blessings away from you if you can understand that letting go and forgiveness is for you Remember, the Bible is very clear about the state of the heart. It says that 
it says like from the heart the issues of life flow the issues of life flow from the heart so it says guard your heart guard your heart from a state of unforgiveness because out of that unforgiveness will flow the issues of life some people wonder why they are still in poverty why they are not moving forward it's the it's the state of the heart it's the state of the heart and for me this was a very very difficult lesson for me to learn and i don't want you to fight unforgiveness if you have like a lot of if you feel like you're not moving forward right i have been trained in nlp you know neuro linguistic programming and what we do is we help you overcome those barriers that are preventing you from unlocking that potential you know unlocking that potential so if you feel stuck and you want to get unstuck i'm saying you can hire me for even 10 sessions and then we can go through all those traumas all that stuck energy we can start to reprogram you so that you're able to forget things that people did for you that was so wrong that you you know things that you've also done that has traumatized you you can heal from that you can actually get unstuck from that sometimes it's a program we repeat it so much in our head that we forget to undo undo it if you don't undo it it continues and continues and continues so again this is Heal Your Energy and my name is Kanini and if you like this video, like and subscribe if you like this kind of content of spiritual healing, forgiveness, moving forward, please like this, like this video, put your comment below and subscribe. Again, thanks again. This is Heal Your Energy and may God bless you.